Making a train in Minecraft and you want some rolling stock? I've dealt with a lot of fancy first-class cars. What about those in third class? I've got a third-class compartment car for you today. Very different to the first-class ones, no corridor this time, just compartments. Let's get on with it. To make a third-class compartment car, you will need the following. For the undercarriage, 26 grey or brown terracotta blocks, 4 pistons, 4 levers, 3 spruce slabs, 16 hoppers, 32 nether brick stairs or blackstone stairs, 3 grindstones, 20 dark oak slabs, 66 dark oak planks, 44 dark oak stairs and 8 dark oak fence. For the body of the carriage, you will need 18 birch doors, 36 spruce trap doors, 22 dark oak trap doors, 74 birch trap doors, 132 smooth sandstone slabs and 44 smooth sandstone stairs. For the interior fittings, you'll need 69 polished granite stairs, 8 lanterns, 70 dark oak trap doors and waste blocks of your choice. Now, if you are building this carriage to join onto other carriages, make sure that you leave a full two block gap between the end of the extended buffer from the previous carriage and where you place your waste block on your rail. On top of the waste block, place one, two, three brown or gray terracotta blocks. Get rid of the waste block. And now behind these blocks in the middle, 20 terracotta blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And behind them, 1, 2, 3. Now let's make the buffers. These come from Crafty Fox. There's a link in the description to his channel. Pistons. One either end of your terracotta bar. And levers either side of the terracotta bar next to the pistons. You can either place the levers as I have at the front or you can place them underneath. It doesn't make any difference, just make sure that whatever you do, it's the same front and back and on each side. Now go to the other end and make the buffers again. Couplings next, I like to use grindstones. At the front of the carriage, place one grindstone for a coupling. And at the back, place two, one, two. You'll have to shift click to place the second. Now for wheels, grab your stairs, either nether brick or blackstone. Leave a one block gap between the buffer and the stairs and place on the terracotta a right way up stair. Underneath it, an upside down stair. Come round to the back, upside down, right way up. This forms a cross shape. Pretend it's a circle. Leave a gap of one, make another wheel. In between the wheels, place a top half dark oak slab and going into the right way upstairs on each wheel, two hoppers. You want the funnels pointing into the stairs. Between the wheel and the buffer, two dark oak fence. Now repeat this setup at the other end. And now between the bogies, eight top half dark oak slabs. Repeat all this on the other side. Now come to the top of your carriage, starting at either end, it doesn't matter which. Place dark oak blocks on top of your three terracotta blocks and run rows all the way down to the other end. With that done, come to the sides and run upside down dark oak stairs right the way along. Do this on both sides. That's your undercarriage. Now for the body of the carriage, let's start with the ends. Pick an end, doesn't matter which one, they're both exactly the same. Next to these stairs, directly above the extended pistons, place waste blocks. And next to those dark oak trap doors, they'll place folded down, that's just because of the levers, it's fine, fold them up. Spruce slab in between them. You can place either one or two. Just remember that if you place two at this end, you place one at the other end. Now on top of the waste blocks and the dark oak trap doors, place spruce trap doors. And on top of the outer ones, two dark oak trap doors and the inner ones, 
three. Now stand on the spruce slabs and with a birch door place it on the first of these dark oak blocks so that the hinge is pointing towards the non-platform side. Grab a waste block, place it on top of the door and at the top of the waste block place a birch trap door so that when you fold it down the handle is directly above the door. On top of that birch trap door place a dark oak trap door. Get rid of the waste block and fold all your trap doors up or down to form walls. Get rid of the waste blocks. There's an end, repeat that at the other end. Now we're going to start on the platform side of the train. So we'll begin by placing our doors, working at the front of the train and placing each door so that the hinges are towards the front of the train. We're going to place one birch trap door on this first block. We're going to leave a gap of two and place another. A gap of two and place another. Two and a fourth. Two and five. Two and six. Two and seven. Leave a gap of one and place one more door. Now put waste blocks next to the stairs in between all the doors. On top of each of them place a spruce trap door and on top of each of those spruce trap doors two birch trap doors. Now on top of each birch door place a waste block and in front of that waste block place a birch trap door at the top so that when you fold it down the handle is directly above the door. Remove the waste block. Do that for each of the birch doors. Now remove all your waste blocks and fold all your trap doors up or down to form walls and windows. That's your platform side of the train. Now we're going to go around to the back and do the non-platform side of the train and unusually this is exactly the same. So come to the front of the train, place a birch door with the hinges facing to the front, leave a gap of two, place another and do this until you have seven doors. Leave a gap of one, place one more door and now place waste blocks between each of the doors. On top of all the waste blocks, spruce trap doors, two birch trap doors on top of each spruce trap door, a waste block on top of each door with a top part birch trap door folded down so the handle's directly above the door. Get rid of the waste block. Remove all waste blocks and fold all trap doors up or down to form windows and walls. And that's our non-platform side. Now we're going to do the roof. Come to the inside. Come to one end, doesn't matter which. On any one of these three dark oak trap doors, place a bottom half smooth sandstone slab. You could also use blocks, but I prefer the slabs because they go further. Place two either side and now continue that all the way to the other end. Now place smooth sandstone stairs next to your slabs all the way along. Do the same on the other side. Come to the top, place a waste block on top of any of the stairs and place a smooth sandstone slab next to it so it's a bottom half slab and fill in the top of your roof. Get rid of the waste block. This does two things. It gives us the gentle curve for the correct roof profile and it means that the roof is spawn proof. There we have it. Now for the internal fittings. They're very simple. Come to the front end of the train. Stand looking down towards the back of the train and with polished granite stairs place one, two, three, four, five. Come around to the back of that, five more. Leave a one block gap, five more, and repeat this all the way down to the end. When you get to this last row along the back wall, one, two, one, two. That's all the seating. Now for the petitions for the compartments. 
So we'll start with this second last row. We're going to use dark oak trap doors, run five along and five on top. Fold them up. Now we're going to come all the way through to the front again and facing towards the front from this second row we're going to do the same thing. So five and five. Okay, come back one, do it again and repeat that all the way down the car. Lighting, come to the middle of every compartment and place a lantern in the roof directly above the middle block. In the very front compartment, place it directly above the middle seat. And in the end compartment, place it directly above the middle block here. And there we have it, one third class compartment car. If you're looking for more rolling stock, there's end cards on the screen now.